Our film opening starts off with two establishing shots. The first is a long shot, and the, and the second is um, a shot of the two missionaries coming into the frame. The first shot is just giving an idea of a setting, and uh, and I think all these cut down trees gives it some sort of good uh, atmosphere which we took advantage of. Um, both shots start off quite slow pace and we think that's really worked well because it builds up the narrative, it builds up the tension and it builds up the pace. Um, one of the editing techniques we followed here was match and action. If you see here, Daniel as he's turning around we, we cut in closer and, and his movement works perfectly, which we did spend quite a lot of time on to make sure it was perfect. And we actually zoomed in frame by frame to get this shot right. Watch it. And this um, whole sequence is just the interaction between the two characters. And this was important for our film because when we first did it, we had no dialogue at this point. It was just Moran and Daniel walking down and there was no actual interaction between them and we got feedback saying it wasn't realistic so we then wrote a script and actually made sure the characters interacted in a realistic way. Um, we want to reveal the zombies quite slowly and um, that's what we did as we only, we only first see the zombies through the binoculars of Warren. Here. We wanted, slow, we wanted a slow reveal so that's what we did. And this whole sequence of um, the two missionaries walking to to the to their place where they start shooting, we shot from all different angles and we mixed and matched, and that, I think that's what helped us achieve a good start to our sequence because initially some shots were too long, some were too short, and it didn't really work. Uh, speaking of different shots. Um, this whole sequence we did with different uh, shot angles and we cut away, we cut two, we cut in closer, we cut away. And I think the, one of the key, sh uh, key parts was uh, the shots of Daniel setting up. Initially we had it all in this setup, um, a side setup, and we saw him look through the scope, um, uh, pull the trigger from this angle. However, we then changed it so we came closer, which I'll show you now. This is important because the audience can actually get involved. They get closer, they get involved with the action. That's really important. And the way Moran guides him, he's, on, he's also guiding the audience, so the audience understand what's going on, which we thought was important when we were doing our script. And if you can see here the musical, if you can hear here, the music gets louder, so again that helps us build up the tension and we also start to hear the zombie sounds much louder. Uh, we wanted to have a variety of different uh, gunshots because we don't want too many of the same as it would be a bit boring and repetitive. So we had one here like through the scope of the sniper and we had uh, the other one here which I'll show you just a simple sniper shot and this is another sniper shot where the zombie gets shot in their leg okay. and carrying on um, and as the zombies get closer uh, the diegetic note sounds which is a zombie sounds it gets louder so this gives the audience a sense of time and distance so they know the zombies are getting close so they know that the two main characters have to hurry up or they'll get killed and here we have the main our protagonist shooting and um, yeah we wanted to have different type of gunshots so here we have an over the shoulder and then here we have a side over two muscle pressure uh, this chase was uh, an important scene in our opening sequence and it took quite a long time before we got it to this point um, because initially we had too many zombie shots therefore the shots were too slow and we wanted to speed it up as the pace was just dropped too much and here 
we had too many we actually had too many leg shots as well and here you can see we use an ellipsis because if you look here if you look here the, the direction which Daniel and runs um, you can see it's ellipsis so we want to get from one location to another without too many shots This is just uh, uh, this is just the build up to the explosion, which we did spend quite a long time on to get as realistic as possible. Even then, we couldn't get the best. Um, that's because of the fence. If you yeah, the fence. Yeah. The fence was indestructible, which we couldn't really do much about. We had to deal with it, therefore we tried to make the explosion as realistic as possible. And here you've got like gravel, which we actually threw up in the air ourselves, and the explosion which we edited in after effects. And here is a cliffhanger, so the audience will be willing to know what happened to the protagonist and what happened, what we, the guy, is that just knocked him out. So it keeps the audience engaged and makes them want to watch more. And this is just a title we did with the smoke at it. And what I'm going to go through now is the grading. Um, if you look here, it's too bright. And this doesn't really suit this zombie genre. So what we did was we made it slightly grayer. So if you look at the same shot after it's been edited, Computers being a bit slow, so um, yeah. if you look at this shot, it's much grayer and much darker than the original sh shots we took, which is uh, which gave gives us the best zombie feel, and we think we've done well with that. And this is just the general style of our film, which follows the conventions that have mentioned before of the zombie and action genre.